All right. I'm recording now. Okay. Okay. Here you go. Here's your entrance music. All right, everyone in the audience, I'm going to go ahead and go over the rules for you guys. So, Tech, I'm going to ask you 15 questions, starting from easy to hard. You get a checkpoint at $1,000 and $32,000. You're guaranteed not to leave less of that. You have three lifelines, 50-50, that'll take away two wrong answers. Everybody in the audience will see the question appear in front of them, as well as a selection to choose the question. That's all. You can also pick one person from the audience to answer the question. This will be your phone a friend. When you when you select that person, they'll go up to where Jack is standing in the back corner back there, drop down. You'll then have 30 seconds to read the question. And then after that, they'll be kicked out the room. Oh, okay. Any questions? No. All right, well, let's play. For 100. In which score, uh, in which sport might you score a birdie? Cricket, football, tennis, or golf? Golf. Uh, you haven't selected anything. You might have double clicked. Uh, there you go. Okay, okay, okay. You stop. It appears in front of you on the right in front of you as an actual template. So select it again. I'm clicking it. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I know. I have to select it in, lock it in. Oh, okay. And it is golf. Nice. You just have to select it once. Oh, okay. Which of these is not a type of Italian wine? Parmesan, Marsala, Barlow, or Spana? What? That's easy? Uh... And you still have your three lifelines this early. B? Final answer? Yeah. Nope. It is actually... Parmesan. Ah. Okay. Yeah, it comes back to A. Ah. <laughs> I'll reset you and let you try it again. Oh, that's someone else wants to play. You want to try it again? Is anyone else between up? you and them. Oh. I'll put one else want to try? Anyone else, if anyone else wants to try, we can try it next. All right. All right. It was kind of a weird question. I didn't know there was any type of wine either. Which actor has played Conan the Barbarian and the Terminator? Arnold Schwarzenegger, John Claude Van Damme, Jackie Chan, or Woody Allen? Jackie Chan. Just kidding. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger, you're right. <laughs> Would be interesting if it was Jackie Chan, wouldn't it? Oh my God. <laughs> what kind of animal? What kind of animal is Rocky's friend Bullwinkle? A bull? Cow? A moose, a rabbit. You got it for two hundred. Your three hundred dollar question: What is John Wilkes Booth remembered as? Toll Plaza inventor, Abraham Lincoln's assassin, King Tut's discoverer, a Heisman Trophy winner. Correct right, as an assassin for five hundred. No um, question. Did you get the question at all? Nope, it's blank. Okay, I'm just gonna say that you got it because I don't have nothing. Interesting. Let's see if it works now. For which of these companies, company Lazy Boy, best known for manufacturing? Reclining chairs, vitamins, hammocks, or revolving plates? 
And that's correct for 1,000. So you're guaranteed 1,000. You're now 10 questions away, and the questions will continue to get harder from here. At the start of a chess game, there are four of all, but which of these types of pieces on the board? Queen, rooks, bishops, or knights? Mm. You want to ask the audience? Mm -hmm. I'm not a chess player. I... All right. In just a few seconds, uh, questions. Let me sit back up again. Audience, in just a few seconds, you'll see keypads appear in front of you with the question. Please select A, B, C, or D and answer the question now. Oh, I don't know if you hear me. 10 seconds. I think it's D, but uh, I wasn't sure. What? Well, it looks like the audience disagrees with you. Three of them said A, and one said C. I don't think that was even all of them, was it? I no. think one didn't vote, so... That's fine. <laughs> but I know it's the wrong answer, because there's only two queens. Yeah, there's only two queens and two kings. One, one, one for both sides. Yeah. So, um, well, see, at the start of the chess game, there are four of all, but which of these pieces on the board? Oh, okay. Uh, four so I think it's saying which of these is, yeah. Uh, I'll do D. Have to ask, is that your final answer? Yeah, sorry, audience. <laughs> yeah. You should have listened to the audience. What? Darn. Right. It is Queens. Thanks so much for playing, though. Anyone else want to play this? No one else? Oh, wait, I think Fook is going to play. And since there's some new people that entered the audience, I'm gonna go ahead and just go over the rules one more time for them. So you'll be asked 15 questions. They get they start off easy and get progressively harder. You have two checkpoints at 1,000 and 32,000. You have three lifelines, 50-50. Ask the audience, which uh, when you select that, anybody who's in the audience stand will get the question appear in front of them. And they can select A, B, C, or D. Also, uh, for your phone and friend, you can select any person that's in the audience. and. Then they can drop down and press a button and answer the question. Alrighty. Looks like you kind of lost a lot of people, but you still have enough to at least to, uh, not break a tie. What? Which yeah. of these would be tossed if the choice was heads or tails? A coin? A dice? A ball? Or a salad? <laughs> a salad, clearly. Alright, <laughs> Well, you select today and that's the right decision. Coin. Which of these is most likely to cause flooding? Fog, heavy rain, bright sunshine, or Noah? By heavy rain, yes. Noah, get the boat. A common piece of advice for moving heavy objects is to lift with your what? Your feet, your legs, your back, or hernia? Fuck's a hernia. Well, it's definitely legs. Wait, what? Oh. Which part of the body has a root and crown? The head? The neck? The heel? Or the tooth? 
Uh, I'm gonna need you to come over here. I see the I see letter letter A is a blade, letter letter B is ear, letter C is grain, and letter D is gram. What are you reading? <laughs> that is exactly exactly what I'm seeing right here on my on your screen too. Which part of the body has a root and a crown? Head, neck, heel, or tooth? I'm seeing blade, ear, grain, gram. Right, I know how to fix it. I know how to fix it. Hold on. I gotta reset the system. Give me a moment. So I say it's wrong, and that let me hit reset. And then I can do this. They added a function to fix it. Which is time up, and that resets the system. Okay. That should hopefully fix it. It's like a known bug they've been trying to fix for a while now. You see nothing on the screen now? Okay, yeah, I good. See nothing. There's no colors or nothing. Okay. We'll make sure good again. Okay, and it should reset any second. And you were on what? 500, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, now it's completely reset. And I'll just skip you straight to five. I just have to go through the questions, though. We'll at least make sure the questions are in sync, at least. Okay, here we go. Question? All right, do you get which common prairie plant? Is that what you have? I don't see anything this time. You seriously don't see anything on the screen? No, now I just see blank. All right, well, bad news, the world's bugged. <laughs> yeah, my whole thing is flashing all over the place. It said all the answers were right. See, yeah, it's broken. Yeah. Right, we have to reset the world. Going to a new world. Again? Twice? Oh god, let me must be joining. Lag. Finally, I think I can actually move around normally. <laughs> get, get them all wrong on purpose, you can do it! No. <laughs> Why have I been summoned? Oh, I thought you wanted to play a game. You're not, you're not safe if you don't want to, I just want to invite you to play the game. Here I hit it's all good. Uh, Mickey, if you're trying to get down, you're going the wrong way. I'm uh, really tired. No worries, no worries, dude. No worries, dude. I, I just, I'm just, I'm right where I'm here because we need a lot of uh, people to play it, but it's cool. No worries. Uh, have fun. Yep, thank you. I want to make sure he's in the world loaded before I start it. Okay, so he's here, so. Alright, there he is. Let me throw my phone across the room real quick. Oh, jeez.
I was like, clear if I did not throw my phone across the room. <laughs> I... Alright, does that show like this? Which part of the body touch in a greeting called a high five? Yeah, I see. I see it now. Uh, should I use one? Right. Uh, so which all parts the of the body to touch in a green? No, let's just go through it again because I just want to make sure this thing doesn't break. Alright, all right, hands. I was on a roll last time. Which girl's name is also a Christmas song? Eve, Carol, Natalie, or Christine? Uh, you talking out? Are you thinking Carol? Thinking Carol. Are you all right? Carol the bells. Uh oh. Hawaiian and electric are which types of musical instrument? Viola, organ, piccolo, or guitar? Mm, Hawaiian and electric. Do you think of anything with the word electric or Hawaiian in it? Or have you ever heard of any of these? Uh, I would like to do a 50-50. All right, 50-50 it is. Leaving you one, the right answer and one wrong answer. Oh. Leaving you oh. viola and guitar. I guess I'll go with guitar. All right, D, and you are correct. Oh my gosh, I just chose that. <laughs> <laughs> what mythical creature is also known as the abominable snowman? Yak, Yanny, Yeti, or Yoda? Yoda. And it's C. And it is C. What was the nationality of the offer Hans Christian Anderson? French, Italian, Greek, or Danish? Hans Christian Anderson. Danish. Final answer? Yes. And you got it for a thousand. So you now Yay. five questions in, ten questions will remain. You have two lifelines left. Let's keep going. Which of these is considered the father of all electric games? Kong, P Ping, Frogger, or Pong? Pong. You said Pong. Final answer? Yeah. You're right for 2000. 4000. Here we go. Which animal is known as the king of beasts? Elephant? Gorilla? The lion? Or the rhinoceros? Gorilla. Final answer? Yes. Then you are incorrect. But lions the answer was C. Jungle. Says on my screen here, which animal is known as the king of beasts? Lion. That is bullshit. Lions are king of the jungle. <laughs> hey, Google. <laughs> What is known as the King of Beasts? Oh, no. <laughs> yep, lion. I call bullshit still. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks so much for I playing. Will... <laughs> you left with 1,000. Yeah, let's go.
Or should I keep going? Alright. Mm. Trying to get in tech? Yeah. So I gotta go here soon. Okay. Alright. Hope let's make sure the questions stay in sync. That's the only thing that's a buggy about this thing. Do you see the first question? Yeah. Sam I Am, a character created by Dr. Seuss, encourages consumption of what delicacy? Green eggs and bacon, green eggs and ham, green eggs and sausage, or chocolate mousse? Chocolate mousse, I guess. Is it? No. <laughs> green eggs and ham, you're all right. To which of the following people would you go if you need a haircut? A blacksmith, a barber, a masseuse, or a tree surgeon? A tree surgeon? <laughs> I mean, if you got a lot of hair up there to cut, maybe, I guess. Yeah. But you're all right, barber. A common piece of advice for moving heavy objects is to lift with your what? Feet, legs, Back or hernia? Be legs. Yes, B legs. Which of the following cartoon characters is known for his distinctive laugh? Woody Woodpecker, George Jetson, Yogi Bear, or Bluto? Bluto? Hmm. Hey, Yogi. Just kidding. <laughs> Hey, what do you look, Becker? Yeah. You're right for 500. <clears throat> what are the cells of a honeycomb made of? Wax, pollen, bees' hair, or honey? Wax? Okay, I don't know where that. <laughs> okay. Want to go with honey? Yes. It's wax. What? How does what they make inside the cells? The cells of itself are made of wax. Mm. Darn. All right, your turn, Mickey. Yeah. Hello. All right. Please let me know if for some Sorry, reason the questions don't show up for playing, you. We're playing a game, so I might be leaving soon, okay. but I just want to invite people if I... I can uh, wait for the first, the first one to load. If you want to go up with the... Right, for 100, um, what is the main attraction in Jurassic there? Park? There's a blue button that you click to go up. Is it what you got? Yes. Okay. Is it dinosaurs? A geyser? King Kong? Or juries? A. Okay. Right, You're right. The Krispy Kreme Challenge is an annual five mile race in which participants must stop halfway through the course and eat a dozen what? Tacos, hot dogs, donuts, or buffalo wings? Well, it says Krispy Kreme, which is donuts. So. You're right. For 300. Which of the following is used to describe junk mail? Pastrami, spam, ham, or provolone? Provolone. <laughs> and you got it for 300. Which of the following is found on a co excuse me. Which of these is not found on a koala bear? A tail, thick fur, hairy ears, or sharp claws? 
thick fur. I think. Yep. Where does Homer Simpson work? In a nuclear power plant? At the bowling alley? In a pepper mill? Paper mill, excuse me. Or for the U.S. Post Office? Uh, I'll use the 50-50. What? 50-50? Oh, you gotta select it first on your side. There you go. That leaves you with nuclear power plant and the bowling alley. You haven't seen The Simpsons before? Uh, no. Bowling alley. <laughs> that could be your final answer. You still have two lifelines left. Nah, a bowling alley. Final answer? Yeah. He works at the nuclear power plant. Oh. But well, thanks so much for playing. <laughs> I don't know anything about. Probably should ask the audience on that one. Oh, you up next? Yeah, I want to. I want to try this. All right, let me know for some reason the, the questions don't show up for you. You got it. I want to get like a stupid one first, but I'm just see if it's so stupid. Oh shit! No, come back up. Oh no. Uh, I can't hear you if you're talking. Oh, I'm muted. Sorry. How many months are in a year? <laughs> Six, ten, twelve, or twenty-four? Hmm, you know what? I think. Wait, can I select it? Hold on. Uh, you no, use no, the audience? I, I or think I, it's this one. What'd you say? I can't yeah. see because you selected two things. Oh, uh, C. I, I misclicked. C. There you go. Yeah, C. All right, you're right on that. Sorry, I'm just in here. Okay, okay. Which nation's prime minister lives at 10 Downing Street? United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, or New Zealand? What? <laughs> um, yeah. Prime I'm minister lives at 10 Downing Street. Well, you have the lifelines 50-50. You can also ask everyone in here, or you pick an individual person to ask. You know what? I'm just gonna go with a 50-50. Yeah. All right, 50-50. Leaves you with United Kingdom and New Zealand. Um, I only see United Kingdom. New Zealand doesn't show I up. I see both. Um. Well, I will go with. United Kingdom. And that would be correct for 200. Okay. For 300. Whose film roles include Dr. Robotnik and The Grinch? Cary Grant, Robert Downey Jr., Robin Williams, or Jim Carrey? I'm going to go with D on this one. I hope it's the right Grinch I'm thinking about. Well, it is a right grinch you're thinking of for 300. All right. All right. For 500, the acronym DIY stands for do it what? Yourself, yesterday, youngster, or yo yo. <laughs> I feel like youngster would probably be like some dad's joke for it. Do it, youngster. Could be, but yes, it is definitely do it yourself for 500. For 1,000, in which part of the camera opens to admit light when you take pictures? The spool, the flash, the focus ring, or the shutter? Opens? Mm -hmm. Hmm. One of these, when you push the button on the camera, it opens up to allow the picture to be taken. Okay. 
Then if it's asking math, then it's that, I believe. I hope I. You were correct that. for one thousand. Okay. Then I was Later. just misreading, I guess. Okay. All right, let's keep playing. You're five down. Only ten left to go. Two lifelines remain. For two thousand. In which movie star was? I'm sorry. Which movie star was the mother of actress Jamie Lee Curtis? June Allison, Maureen O'Sullivan, Janet Leigh, Doris Day. Fuck. Okay, so I don't know any of my actors, so I'm actually going to call upon the audience on this one. Um, and is anyone even in there? I got Somewhere. three over there. Okay, good. And one over there. All right. All right. Person, you need to get an audience because he's getting ready to ask a question. You can click the blue button and quickly jump in there because he's getting ready to ask. All right, audience, he's now calling upon you. You will see in just a second um, the question appear in front of you with buttons A, B, C, and D. Please make your selection now. What do you think the answer is? Five seconds. This thing was going to bite me in the butt. Okay. Three, two, one. All right. Well, you had two members of the audience say C for Janet Leigh, and one say June Allison. Oh, okay, okay. Then I am going to go with the majority vote for the Janet Leigh. All right. Have to ask. Final answer. Yes, sir. That is the final answer. The audience is correct. You guys are geniuses. I love you. Okay. That's 2,000 in the pocket. Here is your 4,000 question. What American artist once said, in the future, everyone will be world famous for 15 minutes? Peter Max, Andy Warhol, Jackson Pollock, or Norman Rockwell? Oh my god, what American artist You know, sir, it's a 25% chance I get this right. So you, you know still what? Do have I'm one lifeline go... left. Will anybody in the audience understand this? Looks like Texas jumping up not. and down, he might know. Dude. Alright, you know what? I wanna I wanna call you out. No. <laughs> okay. All right, photo friend. All right, tech, quickly jump down here. Press the green button to go into the phone room. Uh, Other way. <laughs> green cube, out there where you came in. <laughs> so sorry, my buddy's taking a while dance song. Yeah, it does take a bit. Thank you. Once you're in the green room, press the um, phone to answer. All right, Tech, it sounds like you answered. Are you there? Yes. Can, can you hear, hear me? You? Can you talk? All right. Yes, Hello. we can hear you. All right. Big Josh, you have 30 seconds to read the question to um to Tech. And at the end of the 30 seconds, your time will you'll be kicked out and your game will continue. Are you ready? Okay. All right, yep. Here we go. All right, okay, so... Okay, so the, the question is, what American artist once said, in the future, everyone will be world famous for 15 minutes? We got A, Peter Max, B, Andy Warhol, C, Jackson Pollock, and D, Norman Rockwell. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. D, normal walk, Rockwell. <laughs> All right. So you have a couple options you can do. You have no lifelines left. You can take a chance and see if it's that. You win 4,000. If you miss it, you'll leave with 1,000. Or you can walk away and take the 2,000 you've earned. You know what? I want to believe my buddy, then I phone the friend. I'm going to go with Norman Rockwell. <laughs> oh, no. Final answer. <laughs> 
Then there's the I final don't know. answer. I don't know. I don't know. You're leaving with 1,000. It was Andy Warhol. You know, I should have gone with my gut, damn it. <laughs> I don't even know. You leave it with 1,000, Josh. Thanks for playing. <laughs> we... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, hold on, I gotta sit, stretch to stand up. Wait, I got time to do one more, so, and after that, I have to head out, so. <laughs> I don't know. How okay. can you do this to me? I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh god. I'm already I'm ready. Don't worry. Thank you for trying. I put you on the spot and you delivered. <laughs> Where does a president of the United States live while holding office? The Red House? The Purple House? The Black House? <laughs> or the White House? <laughs> the Black House? Oh my goodness. The... Got it for $100. 200 yeah, Hell yeah. <laughs> Which pop star introduced a move known as the Moonwalk? Madonna? Ooh, ooh. George Michael? Michael, Michael Jackson? Or Neil Armstrong? <laughs> Neil Armstrong? He did the Moonwalk. <laughs> The wrong one. You got 200. <laughs> you literally did it. $300 dollar question. By which three initials is a Republican Party also known? The DEM, the GNP, the GOP, or the Y2K? The Y2K. C. 300 is yours. Your $500 question. Which czar of Russia was known as the Terrible? Ivan, Peter, Nicholas, or Paul? Yeah, Ivan the Terrible. Ivan. Yeah, I think it is. You're right for 500. Nice. For 1,000, what is the name of the computer in the movie 2001 A Space Odyssey? Kit, Carlson, Pal, or Hal? Ow. You won a thousand. Hey. So the good news is you won one thousand dollars. Five questions down. Ten questions remain. You have all, all three right. of your lifelines. So let's see how far you get. Your two thousand dollar question. What is a frappe? Argument, a beverage, a ballet step, or a skirt? Okay, it's either a drink or an argument. It's a drink. It's a drink. I would like... Well, there's like a certain word that... Uh, 50-50. That's similar. Mm. It's like Go ahead and select it on your side. All right. You have one wrong answer and the correct answer. Leaves you with beverage and skirt. A beverage is correct. Okay, I should. Come on, if I got four thousand. What type of clothing is a Panama? A what? A tie, a shoe, a hat, or a jacket? I think it's a jacket. You can make that your final answer, or do you want to use one of your lifelines to go with that? I am going to stick with it. So final answer? Yes. You just lost $3,000. Yeah, I did. It was a hat. hat. I thought uh, that was my second guess. <laughs> but thanks so much for playing. Thank you. It's, it seems like the 4,000 question, everyone just gets wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to time up because I'm kind of done <laughs> for the night. This is a fun map. I'll probably come back to it again. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. Give me one second. Yeah.